What is going on, Bearded Brotherhood and beyond? My name is Dan C. Bearded. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher for everything beard related. And today is not exactly beard related, but the beard got us here. <laughs> I'll explain. So I've said it many times and I will continue to say it. This beautiful thing on my face, this bearded journey, has allowed me to become a healthier person. I now care about my water intake. I look at the ingredients and the foods that I'm eating. I even really, really study and love the ingredients going into my beard products, and that has led itself to me caring about the ingredients and the products for everything else. Today, I'm gonna to break down what my family uses for our head, face, and body. Head, face, and body wash, body wash. <laughs> I got too much baby shark going on in my house with a two and four year old and a pregnant wife. But I will break that all down for why we use these products, what ingredients we look for, and where we get them. All that information that you would need to know for shampoo and conditioner, face wash, and body wash. So if that interests you guys, hold on, get comfortable, and check it out. I'm going to break down every product my family uses, give you a little bit of information about each, and tell you why we love those individual products. But first, I want to start off by saying most of you know by now that I am working with a large company that's going to be making beard products in almost every big box retail store in America, and it's been such an amazing experience. My goal is to get every guy that tries beard products for the first time to have a healthy and amazing experience and then they can dive into this community of ours. Because think about how many guys are trying greasy, nasty products and they're like, oh, this is what it's like, never again. I wanna help guys experience that amazing side of having really good quality products. With that said, I have learned so much working on that largest scale with that legit of a company as we're getting testing in the lab and we're getting trials and we're trying different things with different temperatures. I've learned a ridiculous amount. And a major thing that I've learned is that all natural is not always the safest. It's not always the best. Anytime you're dealing with truly all natural ingredients or water-based ingredients like we find in a, in a lot of balms and butters, that comes with a lot of dangers the longer it sits on your shelf, the Amazon warehouse shelf, or a store shelf. They get microbes of mold and other things that can cause a lot of problems for your beard hair and your skin. So that's something that I think is overlooked a lot of times by the companies in the game. And I'm really excited when the time is right to get that information out there to educate you guys, but also some companies. So that's one thing that I've been really firsthand learning a lot about with the best in the business. But with that said, with the products in front of me for your hair, your face, and your body, not all of them, most of them are not all natural. And I think that is a needed and a good thing, right? I'm finding that pocket of 97 to 99% all natural ingredients is a really good area to be. And that one to 3% that is not all natural is probably needed. And there are great all natural and not all natural options out there. So keep that in mind. Just because you see something is not all natural does not mean it's a bad option. Are there bad options there? Yes, I have pointed those out to you guys a bunch of times, but there are good options. So keep that in mind. All right, and the company I'm working with is nothing that is in front of me today. I don't want you to think that, oh, Dan's working with this company. He's going to push their head hair products. and all. No, I strictly only work on their beard products, and they have nothing in front of me right now. So keep that in mind. All right, first one is the head hair, shampoo and conditioner. We only use one company in our house, and we actually buy it off of Amazon now. We purchased it at our local grocery store who have stopped carrying it, and so now we just made a big order last week. We got like 10 to 12 of these things, and this company for you to check out, link in the description, is Live Clean. I have no affiliation with this company, never talked to them, actually have no idea who they are other than the ingredients in their products and how they make your hair feel. We use their, their conditioner, we use their shampoos, all sorts of different shampoos. These are amazing. 
They're going to make your hair feel light. They're going to make it feel fresh. Your scalp is going to be refreshed here. And Sam is huge on this stuff. Essentially, she did the research, bought the products. I looked at the ingredients, tried it out, and I'm like, yep. So this is what we've used for a couple years now. This is 97% plant-based ingredients. For a shampoo and conditioner that does have a lot of water-based uh, ingredients, 97% plant-based is amazing. Most of you guys out there are probably using the cheapest shampoo you can buy. Guilty of that when I was in college right before Sam. Oh my gosh, the ingredients in there guys can be absolutely terrifying because they have to preserve the water for it to sit on a shelf. We know water will mold. This one, you guys, is truly, truly amazing. If you've been looking for a good shampoo and conditioner that's at a low price, these are not expensive. I think they're like under $5 for uh, a 12 ounce bottle. That's amazing. Check it out there, guys. This is all we use. Live clean, live clean. So that's the head check. Now down to the face. Now we have two here. Sam has converted to only using one. I do rotate between both of those. The one that I've been using for the longest is this Skin Active by Garnier. I really enjoy this one here. It is 99% naturally derived ingredients. One thing that I like is it's vegan friendly and all that, but on the back, it breaks down every single ingredient and tells you where it comes from, which is pretty cool. Um, I really enjoy this one. This one is a deep pore facial cleanser. It really gets in there. It has a base of uh, green tea. I don't know exactly what that does for me, but I know tea, especially green tea, is known to lift out toxins from your skin. So absolutely awesome one here. Again, Garnier Skin Active, and of course, I don't know anything about Garnier or have an affiliation with them. The next one that is the only one Sam uses, strictly the only, only facial products that Sam uses, my buddy Tim started using it with his son. His son's acne cleared up within a week and it's all they use in their family. And this is Scotch Porter's face wash. I also use their face scrub. This is the first product today that I do have an affiliate with. If you use my link in the description, I do get a small kickback. It all goes into this channel. Trust me, it helps out everything here but absolutely makes no difference. This is an amazing, amazing product. I recommend this. I preach this to all of my best friends that I see every other weekend. If I just doing something for the money, there's no way I would tell my best buddy to use this, use it on your son who was one of my students. Uh, that just wouldn't work, right? I'm telling everybody I can because it is so good. And again, Sam used to use this company as well. She has solely switched to Scotch Porter. Now this is charcoal activated. When it's in that, it just has so many great health products to it. And this has all the things that you wanna hear as well. Uh, let me read them to you guys. Where's it at here? No sulfates, no petroleum, no parabens, no mineral oil, no synthetic colors, no animal testing. Uh, it's color safe, all that stuff. All those big things you want checked off the list. Scotch Porter has it. Scotch Porter face wash is the best. It's a little bit more. This is going to be a lot less expensive than the Scotch Porter. But as always, guys, I've said it time and time again, you get what you pay for absolutely wonderful there. If you want a little bit more scrub, you want a little bit more exfoliation to it, check out the facial scrub as well. All right, now down to the body. The one that I've been using for the longest until some of the beard companies got into the body wash game is this one that is, I believe, pronounced Jason. It's got all the grammatical marks there, but ain't nobody got time for that. This is a tea tree body wash, no parabens, no sulfates, no petroleum, um, none of the bad stuff that you're looking for at all. It is an earth-friendly, biodegradable formula. Just truly an awesome, awesome product. I love the way that this makes my body feel. It comes in inexpensive, big pump top type things for body wash. Obviously, we're using body wash every day, so it's gonna have some great ones for you. So if you're looking for a, a really big one that has some great ingredients, check this one out. Now, I've started to use three body washes from beard companies. One I just talked about was uh, Scotch Porter. They also have a body wash and a body scrub. Same thing, really nice. This is more of like a thin consistency, kind of clear. This is more of a creamy, really, really hydrating consistency. Super awesome. Uh, it has some amazing ingredients in there. Bioactivated mineral complex that conditions and strengthens. Wonderful one there. Really cool little pop top. When it goes through, you just pop it up here. It's a little tough. Ah, all right. And then it goes through, boom, get it out of there, push the top back down, you're good to go. So that's one. Um, the other two I do also have affiliates with, with the link and discounts in the description. First one is FBW, 
face and body wash from Beard Octane. Now, I only use the face washes that I pointed out today, so I do not use this one on my face, but I do use it on my body. I have downshift here. If I'm gonna go with a night routine where I'm gonna wear downshift oil and downshift butter, I love cleaning with that downshift body wash. This is a really, really good one. You guys know if Beard Octane does anything, they're gonna do it right. Um, and then the last body wash that I use, this is the only all natural ingredient or all natural product that's sitting on the table here. Well, the last two, I think the last one is as well. And this is the body wash, the all over wash from Mountaineer brand. And this one is 100% natural. Now, with any all natural product, my advice is use it. Don't let it sit on a shelf. Don't let it sit there for months and months and months. You wanna make sure you're using that product. So if you are an all natural nut and you want to make sure you are getting something that is 100% all natural, this is going to be the one for you. Really, really good. I highly recommend the uh, lime and sage scent. Super fresh, super nice citrus with a little bit of kick in there. Really good product. Again, 100% all natural. It gets the job done really, really well. And the final product, sorry for slamming if that was loud for you guys. The final product that I have to show you guys is it's a, really an all-in-one. You can wash your hair, your face, your beard, and your body with it. And that's just a classic pine tar soap. This one I, I believe is good for me about once a week, once every other week, because I feel pine tar soap is pretty harsh on my hair and on my skin. But other guys swear by it, and they, that's the only thing they use. Every day they use it on their hair, their face, their beard, and their body, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's a natural, amazing, amazing product. There are tons of companies you can get it from on Amazon, tons of these beard companies offer it as well. I'm not gonna highlight any of those individually. You can always ask me questions, guys. I love helping you, guide you in the right direction for beard products. Shoot me a message on Instagram, Dan C. Bearded, or email dan underscore command at yahoo.com. If you ever forget the contact information, it's in the description on every single video. Whew, that's a long one, but I get asked this question over and over and over again, which I never mind, but I figured I'd make a video for you guys. Head hair, face, and body, that is what the commands use. Question, what do you use for those same things, your head, your face, your body, and are you looking to switch or are you happy where you're at? I'm curious to hear what you guys have to use. Are you going to look into checking any of these out? Do you have any of these? As always, guys, leave comments down below with your experiences, good, neutral, or bad. Thank you, guys. Keep making those healthy choices. If for anything else, your beard, stay bearded, and stay positive.